I made an auto hotkey function that's used for working in timelines with a playhead. Instead of moving the mouse up from where you're working and dragging the playhead over, you just use this function and it brings the playhead to wherever your mouse is. You can set this up with any application, and here's how. So first what you're going to do is you're going to go to my GitHub page. Uh, there should be a link in the description. You'll download the code, just download it as a zip. Wherever it opens up. Uh, I'll just start to desktop for now. Uh, I'm going to start with a new script for now. So I'm just going to do my auto hockey script. I'm going to drive this in there. You have the timeline click function. Create a new auto hockey script. Example. And we'll edit this. So this is for if you want to just bring the function into your uh, whatever script you currently have. Um, just so I can show you how to use the function and set it up. Uh, so we'll bring over the timeline click. And uh, the part we care about is this timeline click function. Uh, this code up here is just using it. So let's get grab this function definition, copy it, and I'll paste it into our script. And so now we want to use it. Uh, so I'm going to use it for, I'm going to make this for resolve. And first, I'll just make it for the edit page. So I'll just explain what the timeline fu function does. It, uh, it finds an image uh, near the timeline that moves with the timeline. So, so right now, I actually have this function set up for resolve and the edit page. And the image it's using to find where the uh, timeline is is this icon. You can see I have it here. So I do it. And if I click on this, it's technically changing that image. So now when I try to use it, it doesn't work. And you can see when that changes back, it does it again. Because if that image changes at all, whether it's from a UI update or image sizing or just it changing, it won't work. But you see, like if I move this, like the function still finds that image and then works with it. Because it's the same image, it's just moved. Uh, the image sizes, so in the case of uh, resolve, um, it's an array of two value arrays that just contain the image size because I don't care to uh, put in the code that gets the image size. Um, and then the last, the third argument is the y offset. So that's an array of uh, integers that uh, find like how far, how far is the distance between the top left edge of the image it, it finds to the timeline. And so in the case of the edit page, that offset was 45 pixels. So it's uh, finding this image, moving 45 pixels down in the y direction, and using the x position of the mouse at that y position to move up, click the timeline, and come back down to the original position. OK, so setting it up. Oh, the, this last argument here is whether the hockey holds the timeline or whether it just brings the, the playhead to the location and the function ends there. So that depends on, you can set that, to, it'll be true by default, but uh, you can set it to false if you want. So setting this up function, setting up this function for resolve uh, works like this. So let's say we set our well, first, you got to make it a context-sensitive uh, hotkey by using if when active. And then we got to get the, uh, if you have auto hotkey downloaded, you have Windows Spy, use Windows Spy to get the AH key executable, which you see it's AH key at resolve.exe. Don't need that comma. So if we're active, then we're going to put some brackets. And then we'll make our hotkey. We'll make it W. The timeline click function. We'll grab, we have to grab this image. 
So uh, Windows Shift S brings up the screenshot view. And then screenshot that. Uh, then open up your professional graphics software, uh, MS Paint. I uh, just paste that in there. Uh, I'm going to say Paint is a good solution for this just because uh, all transforms work by pixels as opposed to having some kind of aliasing. So just uh, crop your image to the smallest area that matters. And then save that to the location, uh, location in your script somewhere. We'll make an image search folder. And then OS resolve edit page a PNG that. And so first is our array of the file paths. So I'm going to go to that folder, my HK script. Uh, we want the file path to start at the location of the script. So what we'll do is we'll do uh, a script directory dot is concatenate and now to hotkey and then we'll do the rest of the string. Then we'll put in the rest of the file path. Uh, image search. You can hold shift and right click on it to or shift and right click will bring up a context menu that has copy as path. That's pretty useful. Then you can just uh, oh don't need that. Paste it in there. Uh, this part is already um, in a script directory, considering it's in that good spot. And then we'll take that part and put that there. Oh. Make sure there's a backslash uh, at the beginning of it. And so that'll do that. Then we'll do the next argument where we need to get the dimensions of this uh, image, which are 27 by 17. So then we'll do that. And then keep in mind this is going to be an array of arrays. So in case you have more images, you'd have another array there. Next is the Y offsets. So uh, you can just guess with this. Uh, otherwise, you can do the same thing where you just use you can just use paint again. Like remember, top left pixel of the uh, top left pixel of the um, image you're looking for, and then wherever your timeline is. So I'm just going to use this to to do it. I'm just going to take this, save it, um, go to here. Doesn't matter what it's called. Go to desktop, and then let's just see the dimensions of this. 306 by 47. So 47 pixels is the y offset value for uh, that's the y offset value for um, this function. So that means it'll find that image and go 47 pixels down from the top left corner of that image. Also, don't forget to end your uh, function, your, end your hotkey with a return. So that way it returns back to the master script. Boom. Save it. Uh, save it. Find your script. Run it. We see it's running in the tray. And uh, if I press W, it, find, it found that image, it went up, it clicked on the timeline, and now it's working. If I hold W, you see it's still dragging it. Uh, if I change this to, to uh, hold uh, false, or that last argument to false, um, we'd have a different um, it functioned differently. So now every time I press W, the playhead just goes there. And if I hold it, it doesn't continue moving it. So that's what that does. If you don't, um, if you don't specify true or false, it'll just be true. And so now um, there's a situation where, uh, like in the case of Resolve, there's multiple timelines that would all need different images to search for. 
let's make one for the Fairlight page. Uh, if I move this, uh, it looks like everything, everything here moves with it. So we want to find an image around here. And we also want an image that doesn't change state. So like this wouldn't work because yeah. then if it's like that, then it would, uh, uh, we'd have to get both images in there. And that'd just be tedious. You also see this here. And if we click that, it has a dialog. So we could actually use this again. You know what? I'm actually going to use the same image again. So if I copy this again, do a comma, make another value in that array. Uh, same dimensions, 27 by 17. But it has a different y offset. So this y offset, so from the top left of this to there. We're going to save it again. Fifty-three is the y dimension here, so I'm going to add fifty-three to here, and I'm going to save it, and let's run it again. <laughs> so I press W, and it still works. If I move this, it still finds it, and it still works. That's neat. Keep in mind that if you were using monitor, any monitors that have uh, system scaling, you'll have to get your own images, and you'll have to get images at the different um, system scaling settings you're using. So like, for example, uh, we made this function on a, on a 1080p screen here, and this system scaling is set to 100%. But if I move this over to like a 4 like a 4K monitor that has 125% uh, system scaling, uh, we'll, we'll see that this no longer works. So I'm pressing the function, and it's it's not working. It can't find the image, because now the software system scaling has basically made a different image. So you'll have to add images um, at the 125% system scaling, and then also have the 100% uh, system scaling version. It's just kind of a consequence of having a band-aid approach to getting this function. So hopefully one day uh, this will just be a fun like a keyboard shortcut in Resolve. Premiere has it. It's really nice. I use it all the time. And uh, I couldn't live without it in other applications. So I made this for the time being.